One thing about emerald ash borers is we often find that they've been in an area for several years before we know it. And the reason is they're really hard to detect when they're inside the tree. One of those reasons is that they like the upper crown. They go to the tops of the tree where the sunlight is. And of course, that's the hardest part for us to see. And also, they're under the bark. And so it's hard for us to see there. So how do we find it? Well, the first critters to find emerald ash borer are often not humans, but the woodpeckers that like to eat them. So many people from areas that are heavily infested with emerald ash borer say the thing that they look for are the marks that woodpeckers have been there. And what do woodpeckers do? They chip at the bark and they make the bark look really smooth. You may see the little holes that the woodpeckers make. Um, if, it's, if it were close by, you'd actually see their toenail marks in the, it scoring the bark of the tree. Uh, but actually, some, the thing that people look for most is the, the very smooth surface from woodpeckers uh, working at the, the bark. If woodpeckers were looking under this bark, they would actually start scraping this off, and you would see little holes where their bill went into the bark. Um, but mostly you'd, what you'd be struck by is the smooth surface here at the bark. Although emerald ash borer is a rapid tree killer, it, it often takes several years for the tree to die. And the tree does, a healthy tree won't give up right away. It'll start putting out new shoots. So you may see the top of the tree that's dead, but some long new shoots of new growth, maybe coming out of the trunk, maybe coming out of the larger branches. So sometimes you'll see a tree that, that has dead branches at the top, but uh, quite a few long and living shoots coming out of the trunk or the larger branches. That's what people describe very often for emerald ash borer. The reason emerald ash borer is such a threat to the health of ash trees is how it infests and kills a tree. Uh, emerald ash borer likes that very critical layer in the tree between the bark and the wood. We call it the cambium, and it's, it's it's where all the new cells in the tree come from. And that's exactly where the emerald ash borer likes to feed. So if you're going to girdle a tree, you're going to kill it, say, by frilling it with an ax, um, that's the part of the tree you're killing. Well, that's exactly what an emerald ash borer kills. Unlike a borer that may go more into the wood um, and stay away from that bark, uh, emerald ash borer kills a tree within four or five years. So it's a very uh, quick death for the tree. So emerald ash borer is a strong flyer. Um, like most insects, if they find a lot of ash trees nearby to infest, they, they don't have to fly a long way. But if they have to fly a long way to find an ash tree, they will. And they've proven themselves very adept at escaping any kind of barrier we, we create in terms of an ash-free zone. They seem to be able to fly across it and find their way to ash trees on the other side. So when emerald ash borer was first detected in the Detroit area, one thing that was alarming was how fast it killed trees and how many dead trees there were. That was 10 years ago, and we knew nothing about emerald ash borer. Well, since then, we've learned a lot. And one thing that we've learned is that it may not kill every single ash tree. It seems like we don't know why, but it seems like maybe one out of a thousand trees is able to survive. Does that mean that some trees are resistant? It might mean that. So we have a lot to learn, and what's one of the reasons it's really important that we slow the spread of this insect, because the more years that we have, the more time that we buy, that's more time for research results to come in, and we'll know more about emerald ash borer by the time it, say, comes into Vermont or moves into the center of Vermont. And at that time, we'll, we hope to have more tools to use to fight the insect. You know, they're not great. We've come a long way in the last eight years or so where we, we knew nothing about EAB in 2002, to where we are today, we can use girdled trees both as population sinks. Girdled trees are highly, highly attractive to dispersing beetles. So the idea of using them as a population sink is to girdle a handful of them, draw in your beetles, get most of the eggs laid on those trees, and then destroy those trees before they have a chance to develop and emerge as adults. That works really well for reducing population densities. And we've also done some research that shows that we can actually manipulate spread. You can, you, can, you can pull populations of EAB toward a certain area or away from another area by using clusters of these, of these girdled trees. And that's useful if you want to, if you maybe have a, a harvest planned uh, a year or so in advance, and you want to pull that population maybe from a high value part of the forest toward another area that you're going to cut. Uh, you can go in there and, and really reduce population densities and maybe keep them out of that high value stuff a little bit longer. But one of the cons is it's destructive. You're going to be losing ash trees um, at your site. It takes a little bit of work. You know, the girdling part's not difficult, but then you have to go back in the fall or winter, fell that tree, peel back the bark, 
um, and, and look for those, those serpentine galleries. We really love it when people are looking for Emerald Ash Borer, when concerned citizens call us and say, I think I found it. We love to answer those calls. So far, every time we've been able to say, no, it's not, but we really appreciate those calls because a lot of eyes out there is how these insects get found more often than not, is because someone concerned about the health of the trees is keeping an eye open, saw a green insect, wasn't sure, maybe looked it up on vtinvasives.org and still wasn't sure, gave us a call, called the hotline number, Whatever it takes, let us know if you think you see uh, something that looks like emerald ash borer. If you see ash trees that you think might have emerald ash borer, we love to look. So far, we've been able to say every time, no, it isn't. But that's how we're going to find these insects.